Welcome to this week's Technology Thursday. My name is Denton Stevens. I'm a precision ag consultant with CMB Operations at the South Dakota locations. This week we're coming to you from Corsica, South Dakota. We've been training some of our internal technicians over the last couple of weeks and I'm actually sitting in the 8RX410 that we've been using to do that. And right behind me is the 1775NT that we've had hooked up to it. The special thing about this setup right here is that the tractor is actually integrated with the exact rate tanks from the factory and the planter has the exact rate application system on it. So I'm going to give you a brief run through of how all this technology ties into the Gen 4 command center and then we'll actually take a look at the back side of the tractor and what these tanks really look like. Before I step out of the cab I'll go ahead and show you how to access the Xactorate applications on the Gen 4 command center. I'll start by hitting my menu button and I'm going to leave this on machine settings because just to the right of that you can see the Xactorate application as well as the Xactorate tractor tank application. If I access those tractor tanks this is going to show me how full they are. There's a tank level sensor that's going to show the amount of liquid that are left in your tanks. Accessing the exact rate application, I can now see how the implement is set up with this fertilizer delivery system. I can run diagnostics in the status section. And if I back all the way out, I'm now able to do a tank refill, view my sections as I'm moving through the field, as well as set my manual rates or set up a prescription. Now the Xactorate tractor tanks application do have a hydraulic pump that is going to tie up one of these SCVs that's used for pushing that solution back to your implement. And whichever one it's assigned to, you want to make sure that when you operate it, you put it in retract when you detent it. And then when you shut it off, you can push that lever all the way forward to float. So that way it's not abruptly stopping that motor and lets it come to a smooth stop. So now that we are out of the cab, let's just go ahead and do kind of a quick walk around of our setup here. As you can see, those tractor tanks integrate right into where the rear fenders would have been. So if this is a field install kit, you can remove the rear fenders that are there, install these, they come with the lights and all the harnessing. Each one of these tanks holds 500 gallons of solution and with the 600 gallon tank that's mounted on the planter frame you've got 1600 gallons that you can run with without stopping to fill up. Here's just a quick shot of that pump that's going to help transfer the solution. The hydraulics on this one are not hooked up at the moment. But as you can see, those tie right into an SCV. Here's your implement coupler. And all that flows right back to the planter. I'll do a quick walk around on the back side of the planter too and show you the exact rate system. From the back of the planter, as we approach, one of the major advantages of the exact rate system is that it's run with a hydraulic pump which offers more consistent flow than your traditional uh, tire driven systems that are out there. You can control this system remotely from the back of the implement using this keypad. As we take a look more at the row units, so right here we have the same nozzle body that the exact apply system found on John Deere sprayers uses and what that allows is turn compensation as you move through the field as well as more precise on off times when using section control. Thanks for joining us for this week's Technology Thursday. If you'd like to find out more information about the Xactorate tractor tanks for the 8RX platform or the Xactorate system for planters, please contact your nearest CMB location. Again, for this week's Technology Thursday, I'm Denton Stevens 
with CMB Operations, your John Deere dealer of choice.